What up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them, and them are you, which are the chosen ones, baby. And I'm chosen, and so the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones. The quickest way to connect with your higher self, with your most authentic self, with your most truest self, is to go back to your most innocent stage of your life, which is your childhood. That is where you allowed your imagination to run wild, where you were more creative. You wasn't burdened down by the burdens of life, what so-called responsibilities. You wasn't burdened down with bills and all this other stuff. That was your most truest and authentic self. You were allowed, you were given the space to create and be. You were more open to spiritual guides. You was more open to the spiritual realm. That's why children are so pure because they're, they're, they're the closest thing in human form to the most high. They actually walk in that walk. They, 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 they're on that path. But as we get older, we're told that we have to come out of this space that what we what we imagine and what we dream is not real but those things was also real because as a kid you created you imagined those things and they came to life in your reality but we were told that those things don't exist. It's not real. That you have to be realistic and you have to get a job. You have to do this and do that. And then that's when all that depression, the stress, clouded mind, clouded, all those things came into play. It's grown people out here that don't know what their purpose is. It's grown folks out here that don't even know, well, can't even remember what it was that sparked that light in them. It's some people out here that don't know nothing else but a nine to five, don't know what interests they have because it has been stolen from them at childhood. But, there's hope. There's hope. But you have to be willing to go back and open that door. You have to be willing to go back and seek those things out. And it starts by you going back into your childhood, revisiting those things that interest you as a kid. What we call, what we like to call nostalgia. Is really you reconnecting with your higher self and feeling that pure love, that pure innocence, that pure unadulterated source that once guided your life, that once allowed you to create whatever it is you want. I know y'all remember when y'all was a kid, like y'all will believe, like y'all will be so imaginative that y'all create things in y'all mind and it really became true. Like you really thought it was an alligator under the bed. You really seen an alligator under your bed. <laughs> I know every kid, had, hey, listen, yo, this is stuff, this stuff is real. You have to go back and tap into that energy. And when you feel that blissful state, you know you connected to your higher self, but we label it as nostalgia. But in all actuality, that's you reuniting with yourself. And, 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 and sometimes I experience this so deeply that I be wanting to cry sometimes because it's taking you back to your innocence and it's bringing back memories of the things that lies dormant within you. This is how you're going to discover your purpose. This is how you're going to reconnect with your higher self. This is how you're going to go back to co-creating your reality with source. You wasn't taught 
how to cultivate this energy, cultivate your imagination. You was taught to come out of that space and live in the 3D realm. You was taught to come out. You was taught to step down from your throne and to believe more in the physical realm, that the physical realm is what's controlling the spiritual realm. But the spiritual realm, your imagination is what's creating this physical realm. It's what's shaping and molding the physical realm. But that, but, but you got to understand that our parents wasn't taught this. Our parents wasn't given this information. Our parents was told that they have to be realistic. Realist, being realistic never got anyone anywhere. But in the rat race, you have to walk by faith and not by sight. A lot of people don't know who they are. A lot of people don't know what their interests are. A lot of people don't know what their purpose are. What well, purpose is, I'm sorry. Because they have been so far removed from who they are. Your childhood is probably the most pivotal. It's, listen, we try to put so much emphasis on adulthood when that don't even matter because if your foundation isn't solid, which is your childhood, everything else after that is irrelevant. The most important part of your life, the most important time in your life is your childhood because whatever you build upon that is going to determine everything else moving forward. We love to put so much emphasis on adulthood when a childhood is the foundation of everything, of who you are. So if you if you don't remember who you were or have any recollection or any connection with your inner child, your inner self, your most purest form, you're lost. You can't half ass the foundation and think you're gonna have a nice, beautiful home. Yeah, cosmetically, it'll look nice. But once you get in that thing and start living in it, you're going you gonna to realize, oh, man, the floor is lopsided. The walls are cracking. The foundation is not solid. And then the cosmetic things are not going to seem so beautiful at the raw once you start living in that house. Reconnecting with your self, your younger self, the child within is the first step into being on your path, into going into the things that God has called for you. Because guess what? God knew you before you were even born. He knew you in the womb, before your mother birthed you, before you was even in the womb. So God's plan for your life has already been known. You have to unravel and uncover these things because if you don't, you will never know what God's will for your life is. Yes, you can kind of like, you know what I'm saying, like gauge off of what you currently like as an adult, the person that you are now, but to truly, to truly get a deeper understanding and meaning of who you are and what's God real, what God really has for you, and to get everything God has for you, and not just a little bit, and not just partial. You have to go back. You have to forget those things that are not in alignment with you. You have to forget those traumas you went through. And a lot of people had rough childhoods, rough life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not negating. I'm not, you know, downplaying that. But you have to look past those things because it's greater within you. Those things are just outwardly situations and circumstances. Those things don't make you. And a lot of people allowed those things that they went through as a kid 
to to cause them to be you know bitter or even want to forget their childhood but that those things do not make you who you are you are you you are who you are from the start so i just wanted to put that out there and how important it is to reconnect with yourself if you if you know it's a thing you you used to love as a child or do as a child go do it you're never too old to reconnect with yourself spend time with your younger self because your younger self is going to tell you a lot more about yourself than who you think you are now Those things are going to open up doors and remind you of what God placed within you. And y'all know what it is. G. Wells with them. If it ain't a capital G, it ain't me. Let's go.